low on artifacts of Mars. And uh, in April, there's a protest march call, being called Democratic Spring, which is supposed to take place across the East Coast to spark a fire that transforms political climate in America. And what this really is, is George Soros assembling his army. And George Soros is one of the most evil men in history. The operation calling itself Democracy Spring is threatening civil disobedience on a historic scale while protesters which protesters will warn will result in arrest of thousands of its own activists. This spring, in the heart of the primary season, as the national election begins to take center stage, Americans of all ages face political perspectives, and walk in, walks in life will bring popular credit for change to Washington in a way that's possible, impossible to ignore, with nonviolent civil disobedience on a historic scale, the movement's website states, well, that is a lie. They intend to cause trouble, and they will be violent. You can bank on that. So that is a lie. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Liar, liar, pants on fire. We will demand that Congress listen to the people and take immediate action to save our democracy and we won't leave until they do or until they send thousands of us to jail along with the unmistakable message that our country needs new congress when the work will end the legalized corruption of our democracy and ensure that every american has an equal voice in government gee that sounds so nice i wish it i uh, wish we could uh really expect to reform Congress, I'd be right there with them. But I thought they actually intended to reform Congress and get rid of these oligarchs, but uh, it's not going to happen. These are leftists who intend to take over the government. Group balls use marches, sit-ins, and other forms of nonviolent protests to make this election a referendum on whether our democracy belong to the people as a whole and to the billionaire class alone. Let's see, this is an anti-Trump march put on by George Soros is what it amounts to. So that is a why there's very few aren't a lot of billionaires. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. Group sites, other movements have used silk similar tactics from Sel Selma to Occupy Wall Street Tar Sands action to Black Lives Matter every day people have the proven power of the mass exclaiming non-violent action to rapidly shifting political weather and open the door to reforms previously considered impossible that is BS that is bullshit once again, they intend to be violent. Trust me on this. Demonstrations will begin April 2nd with kickoff rallies set in Philadelphia for 10 a.m., followed by a 10 day, 140 mar mile march to Washington, D.C., where thousands will sit in on the Capitol building in what will be the largest civil dis disobedience action of the century. Sounds like they're uh, planning a, a revolt, to be honest with you. group is backed by numerous organizations, including George Soros-funded groups, MoveOn.org, the Institute for Policy Studies, and Demos. MoveOn.org is a pro-Bernie Sanders group, encouraged activists to attend a rally for Donald Trump in Chicago last week. That rally was ultimately postponed due to security concerns. No, 
they shut it down. Another group supporting democracy, Spring Democratic Socialists of America, also drove protesters to last week's canceled Chicago rally. So far, nearly 2,500 people have pledged to risk arrest and join the movement online. These people are trouble, folks. I, uh... If you have patriotic bone in your body, I would be very aware of what's going on. I'm not in their path, but... Well, at least not in that path, but... God only knows if anything will happen around here. I live in a small town, so... Nothing major ever really happens here, but... Who knows? Well, these people... I, you know, I live south of Rochester, so... And Rochester's a big city. So it could be trouble up there. I have to wait and see. I'd be, watch out for this. This could get ugly. I don't know exactly what will happen, but it could get ugly. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.